So hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to solve question buy and sell a share at market price. So in the first uh, we uh, see a question of buy and sell a share. So in the, uh, in the previous question what we have to do, we have to uh, uh, do only one transaction. We have to buy at the dip and we have to sell at the high price and we have to uh, max our profit. But in this question we are going to do the two transactions. So we have to buy first, then we have to sell, then again we have to buy and then again we have to sell. So we have to do two transactions. And in this question, we are giving an array and uh, we have to maximize the profit. So, so there are multi ways, there are multiple ways of solving the question. I am solving using the simple approach, which take uh, time complexity of uh, big of n and the space complexity of big of one. But you can also solve using dp because dp take uh, and the dp approach is take big of n and the space complexity of big of n. Yeah, so. So like in the previous question, what gonna do is I am making a buy pointer. So I am buying at the minimum price. So min and let's say sell one. This is it. So let's say yes. So I am buying at the dip. So what gonna do is minimum of. So it's in max, not min. Is we have to find the minimum of so buy one is max and if there are any minimum values in the array then we have to put in the buy one so buy one equal to minimum of if there is buy one is minimum or we can say that arri is minimum so we have to buy the values now now we gonna do it uh, let's say sell one so we can say that uh, uh, where, where we have to sell so we, uh, we can say that sell, sell happen we have to buy at zero then we can say that we have to making profits so, let's, not, let's say it's profit one and say that how profit generated so we can say that arri minus buy one so we can say that we have buy is 10 then we can say that 10 minus 10 profit 0 is generated then like again then in the next iteration we can say that 22 and the, uh, and then 22 minus by 10 so 22 minus 10 to 12 profit generated then we can that 5 minus it's uh, 10 let's suppose uh, if there is no minimum so we can say 5 minus 5 0 profit generated then again 75 minus 5 70 profit generated so that way it's uh, working it's fine uh, the dip and then it's a uh, then it's a uh, checking for every iteration it's a uh, difference and saying uh, we can sell it and the profit is max or not so we have to maximize our profit so we can say that max profit one we can say that uh, we have to maximize our profit so we can say that it's me uh, it's a zero because uh, it can't be negative profit can be negative so we can say that it's zero rather greater than zero so i'm taking it uh, minimum value of zero and max profit is you have to maximize the profit so it's either be zero either be zero or either be profit maximum of profit or either be zero so like in this uh, this is a simple uh, one transaction approach so uh, let's buy a 10 and sell it 10 so we can say that profit is uh, zero and max profit is also zero and then you can say buy a 10 and sell at 22 so max profit is 12 then at 5 we can't do because it's negative then you can say buy it, uh, 5 and sell at 75 we can say that profit is max profit. 70 and then again this will give you the first max profit now now again we have to buy it at the second place so buy to equal to we can say that max so now we have to buy so we have to buy at the minimum price so minimum of either of buy to or either of arri it's not arri uh, i'm saying it's not uh, buy to comma arri it's uh, by two minus uh, by two and arri minus max profit. Why I am separating the max profit from the arri? Let's understand this. So because uh, uh, like we see, we have to do our second transaction, and for second transaction, we have to we want money for that second transaction. And where we we, we get like uh, this is a classic example. Like uh, it's saying uh, if you have ten rupees, then what you will do? You do first transaction and earn a profit of five rupees. Now how much money you have? 15 rupees. So for second transaction, you have extra 5 rupees to do second transaction. You have extra 5 rupees to do second transaction, which is profit 1. So you can say that 
Now you don't have to buy at ARRI because you you generated some profit. So you have to buy at ARRI minus max profit because you don't have to buy at the regular price because you have generated some profit. So you have to buy at the some less price. So that's why I'm using ARRI minus max profit uh, so that we uh, we can buy at the minimum price either at uh, so uh, this will ensure that uh, you like you don't lose money because. Uh, uh, this will ensure that uh, you are in the boundaries of the profits like uh, if we don't use this then you are going in that like uh, you are make some transaction that will do some negative and you will not earn max profit so earning max profit you are ensuring that this will in the boundaries of the profit so that's why you are using ARRI minus max profit for this example you can say that uh, uh, like 10 10 then we can say that we are buy at 10 and sell at 10 and we generated a profit of 10 and we can say that we again buy at of course 10 because ARRI is uh, nothing but 10 and max profit is 0 so we can say that we buy at 10 see now at 22 we can say that we generated a profit of 12 and max profit is 12 so if we can say that at 12 we have to buy at either of 10 or 12 we can say that we buy at 10 because we don't buy at 22 because uh, this will we buy 22 that's the, the 12 and 10 we can say that 10 is minimum so we have to buy 10 and if we don't use 10 then you can say that and this will run perfectly fine for that also if we use the RRI but problem starts with this 5 uh, let's check it what happened at 5 so at 5 we can say that uh, we can say that we have to buy at minimum so we buy at 5 we buy at 5 max profit first is 12 this is stored in the max profit Value is stored. Now we can say that we buy at five, and we can say that we generated a profit of zero rupees because because this is the dip. So we generated a profit of zero rupees. Then we can say that uh, the max profit is zero and max profit is twelve. So we can say that max profit is twelve. Now we can say that we have to where we have to buy. We have to buy at this five or not? Let's check this. So we have to buy is minimum of buy two. So buy two is uh, what minimum is what? So by two is in uh, it's ten. Uh, no, no, it's zero. In the starting, it's zero. Uh, it's uh, like max and uh, error right is ten minus x is zero, so ten. So yeah. So by two is ten, and we can say that now error is five and max profit is at zero. So we can say that five and ten, which is minimum five. So we have to buy at five. We don't have to buy ten because uh, we have to buy five. And how we get is 5 minus max profit because the max profit generated is 5 because you have to generate some profit now uh, because for this selling stock uh, um, now let's go to 75 and let's see what's happened so at 75 uh, buy at one at min and buy one at ARRI so for 75 we gonna minimum of 5 one and ARRI so for 75 we gonna buy at uh, 5 yeah and profit we generated is 70 rupees then we can if we go to max profit and say max profit is now 70 it's not 12 it's now become 70 max profit is now become 70 max profit is now become 70 and it's not 12 yeah. then we can say that we have to buy it fair First transition we generated a profit of 12 rupees. We have to store somewhere the 12 rupees, and now we are making a profit of 70 rupees. So this can be a second transaction. So minimum of buy two, buy two is uh, seven, buy two is five, and we can say that ARRI minus max profit. So ARRI is 75 and max profit we generated is 70. Uh, max profit we generated as 70 and ARRI is 75 to 70 and so it is 75 and buy at 5 so we have to buy at 5 again saying we have to buy at 5 we don't have to buy at 70 because it's generating our same profit we are generating same profit now it's uh, counting the profit is uh, saying the profit is 60 and it's generating 60 minus same profits and it's saying 80 and it's saying if it's 80 then you can say that uh, 80 minus 5 uh, 75 and 5 same so you can say this is the max profit so now we can say that we have to profit two. We can say that we have to buy it here and say that buy two. And we can say that we have to find max profit. 
So you can say that uh, it's maximum of two. Let's call it maximum of two, and saying by maximum of either of max profit two or saying profit two. Let's make it one. Now the max of the starting max profit 2, we have to return max profit 2 and let's check this returning or not. So there is error, so let's an error. Let's change this to error, so not. Saying max profit not declared at 23, there is no max profit. Okay, now is there any other error? Say 24. Profit 2 is not declared because we don't want to declare profit 2. We also did not declare max profit 2. We submit this and check is correct or not. Guys, uh, successfully. So now the crucial step of solving this question is this buy two because this is simple. We have to buy at the tip and we have to sell and check every values and we have to sell. We find max profit. This is also easy, like if, if you buy then we can say that profit is uh, the buy and the max profit is simple. But the buy, this is not similar because uh, we have to buy it, buy two and ARR, right? not ARR, ARR minus max profit. One buy we are subtracting max profit, one because, because uh, when selling something we generate profit and we don't have to buy at the same price, we have to buy the, uh, the price uh, and minus uh, the profit we are generating. And in that way, we you can save money, now. This is like uh, this is like the example of uh, saving money. Like uh, you don't have to buy have to buy at the same price. You if you are generating some profit, then you have to buy at the same because you are making you you have x money, then you are generating y profit. Then x plus y, you have the x plus y, then you don't have to buy at the x. You have to buy at the ten minus x minus y because you are generating some profits. You can reinvest the profit money and you can buy at the low price because you have some extra money. That's why you are done. You are checking that, and you are saying that uh, you are earning max profit one as uh, extra money. Then use previous money and this. Max profit to maximize profits. So, yeah. That's why I am not buying it here. I minimum of here. I am buying it minimum of here and max profit. So that is for the video. If you don't understand the question now, uh, you can comment in the comment section and so. Hey okay guys, so this is the represent, uh, representation of this uh, I rent and 20, uh, 22, 5, 75, 80. So, yeah. Now, first we have to buy. So, we can say that we can buy at 10. First, we can buy at 10 and uh, uh, we can buy at 10 and we can sell at 10. And we can say that uh, in the first transaction we buy at 10, sell at 10, and we generated maximum profit of 0. Because at the same price we are buy and sell, then you can say that there is a same value. So we can say that we have generated second. We can say that we are generating max profit two is, and we are generating max profit two is also same as zero and profit two is ten. Yeah. In, uh, now in the next iteration we can say that in twenty two that we are generating a profit of twelve rupees. We are generating a profit of twelve rupees. We are generating a profit of 12 rupees and 
we didn't generate a second profit so the max profit to is zero because you are not generating a, a, you are not uh, selling it twice then in the uh, at the case of five then we can say that now here comes the interesting part so for five uh, the two cases can happen then uh, like if I we have to store this 12 somewhere else you have to store the pro previous profit somewhere else and then uh, you are doing uh, the same this transaction next time then 575 then 565 then 585 and again repeating the same thing so 575 profit is 70 and we have to add 12 and then we, and you are going to get twice profit and then 65 then 60 and 12 then 580 80 plus 12 and which is uh, the profit generated so yeah Initial of this, what I am saying is, if you are generating 12 profit, then by, uh, what I am saying is, when there is some tip again, dip, then by, what you can say, uh, you are you are generating a profit of 12, then you can say that you buy all the stocks. So you can say that 5 minus I am a power now of purchasing power of 12, so we can say that now I have power of buying the stock at 7. So now I have minus 7. I have the power of buying the stock at minus 7 price. Now what gonna do next then you can say that the next transition happen then this will store in the this buy two buy two will store the minimum price so we can say that buy two is store the price of minus seven will store in the buy two so buy two will store the price of minus seven that's it So by uh, to store the price of uh, minus seven, then the next tra transition happen and five and seventy five. So we can say that we generated a profit of seventy. Now what's the max profit you can generate? It? So you can say that seventy this profit, and you can say that twelve profit is generated before. So you can say that max profit is generated, which is eighty two. So eighty two profit is max you can generate. Okay. Now I am saying is instead of storing the twelve, we can say that uh, we are uh, storing minus seven. So you can say that what is the max profit you can generate? You can say that 75. The value plus 7 is the same as 82. So instead of subtracting this value and this value, we can say that instead of doing 75 minus 5 and adding this 12, we can say that we buy at the dip. And we can say that the max profit is subtracting by this value, which is given minus seven, and we can say that we add this direct to ARRI. We direct add this to ARRI to do this thing. Now again in the case of 65, then we can say that we generated a profit of 60, and then we add 67. So this is 67 and to compare is related to greater than 82. In the case of 85, we generated a profit of 80 and plus seven. So we can say that profit is generated, this is 87. And we can say that if we do this, then we can say that 85 minus 5 plus 12, which is also same as 87. So now you have uh, clear like why you are subtracting error and minus max profit 1 because uh, if we are not uh, subtracting max profit 1 and not saying this is minus i and then not adding to this profit 1, then because we can say that uh, why you are subtracting this, there is also logic. Logic is that. Logic is that because by two is either zero or negative, so we are adding PRE in VIO VI OUS profit. We are adding previous profit to. Profit too. Don't uh, misunderstand. Like we are subtracting the previous profit. We are not subtracting the previous profit. We are adding the previous profit to ARRI. How we are adding? We are subtracting the minimum price of this and this minus seven and minus seven. This is adding. So this is adding the previous profit. So profit two is nothing but profit two is. You can also say that uh, we are buying the min and we can say ARR minus min. So we are adding the previous profit. But this previous profit is buy one we are we are buying. So we are always we have to buy. We have to subtract it and to make the profit maximum. We have to subtract it this and this. So now I think your logic is clear.